Hey there, Virgo. This is Debs and this is your single soulmate reading from January to June 2024. Virgo, I hope you guys are well. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful. And let's move into this and see what comes through. This is just an overview. January to June, briefly looking at love for you singletons. Okay, Virgo. Excuse my voice, I've just had a coughing fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been one of those days. All right, everyone, let's dive in. What have we got? Archangel Michael for my Virgos, January to June 2024 in terms of love. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, masculine or feminine. What have we got for my Virgos pertaining to love? Thank you, Michael. Right, Virgo, you may have gone through a bit of a tricky time. I'm hearing someone say to themselves, I'm absolutely not going through that again. Like, oh my Lord. Okay, um, Virgo, you may have got out of something tricky that wants to be seen. I don't know why. Or you may have found out something uh, and you've recovered and you're thinking, all right, I didn't understand what was really going on but now everything's come to light and I've had to walk away yeah wow five of swords so Virgo somebody may have sabotaged the connection with you I'm not going to include that in the reading guys I'm putting that to one side Michael saying yes okay let's see Virgo let's see what comes through January eight of wands Queen of Cups. Four of Swords. This is interesting, Virgo. You may be wanting to speak to a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Or for my feminist, Virgo, you could be sat in the Queen of Cups. You could be thinking about a conversation you had with someone. I don't feel this is someone taking action, whoever this is, if it's you or someone else. I think someone is deep in thought about a conversation that might have led to an argument in the past. Harsh words spoken. Whoever this is, is almost remembering what happened and trying to move into a peaceful place about that. I remember that argument with that person. Or this is someone, Virgo, who is thinking about sending passionate messages to someone, but they haven't taken action yet because they may not know that person's response. So, Virgo, as I've said, you could be sat in the energy of the Queen of Cups. OK, you could be a masculine thinking of reaching out to a water sign. Or Virgo, this could be same sex. Who knows? But there's a sense of looking back at the past, thinking about reaching out, but not doing it in the month of January. OK, February. Six of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. The Chariot. Virgo, as a feminine, you could be considering going through divorce, dividing the assets to leave a situation. It could be something relating to a queen of cups. So Virgo, you may be single, having left a situation with a masculine because of an argument about a queen of cups. As a masculine Virgo, you may have got caught up in a relationship with a queen of pentacles who was not single. She could be a fellow earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn or a Cancerian. And this is you, Virgo, not sure whether or not this person's going to offer you equal give and take. If this is someone who's telling you, Virgo masculines, that they're leaving a situation, it's almost the energy of, I'll believe it when I see it. I'm not sure yet. In March, 
Seven of Cups. There's a slight sense of confusion, or you could be looking at options. Ace of Pentacles. You could be wanting a long-term relationship, Virgo, and seeing who else is out there. Empress. Virgo, as a feminine, you could be simply wanting to meet the right person because you want to become a wife, a mother. You're at that time in your life where you're looking seriously for love. For my masculines, you could have felt very confused about someone that you met. It could be that you met Virgo, a woman sat in the energy of the Empress, that you want to offer a commitment to, but she may be already committed. So for my Virgos where that's relevant, it could be that you're waiting for someone sat in the energy of the Empress to dissolve a marriage. You don't know if they're going to. You're on tender hooks. In that case, you could be thinking about someone who has Libra and Taurus strongly in their chart or Cancerian energy. So if you're a masculine, you're waiting for a woman to leave a marriage, which means, Virgo masculines, that you are single. Now, for some of you Virgo masculines, you have a choice between a water sign that you had an argument with in the past or someone who's in a long term commitment that you're waiting for because you feel this empress is ready to leave a karmic partner. Let's have a look at April. Knight of Pentacles. In April, Virgo, there could be an offer coming in, which is going to shock you. Tower, airy Scorpio energy. Because the tower moment is with the Ace of Wands, they're saying that they want to commit to you, but what you're realising is they are possibly wanting a passionate connection rather than a commitment. So if you're a masculine, you may have this empress charging towards you to say, I'm leaving my husband, I'm separating, I want to be with you. But my Virgo masculines, if you question this empress, well, when is your divorce finalising? Why don't we talk about moving in together? You're going to find that she backs off. And what you're going to realise tower moment is that she just didn't want to let you go. She couldn't offer you commitment because she's not actually ready to leave her partner but she didn't want to let go of you as a potential lover. Now, as a feminine, you could be sitting in a similar type of situation. You could be very confused, Virgo, as to whether or not a masculine is going to leave their wife. What you may be realising in the month of April is, wow, uh, it seems to me as if Tower Moment Ace of Wands, no, they're not. They were simply wanting passion rather than commitment. Virgo, this is tough, guys. Now, let's move into May. The Strength card. This is you holding back from pushing forward with something. Now, I'm not surprised if you feel as if you've been messed around by someone here. You could be communicating with a Leo in the month of May. Two of Swords. Wow, Virgo. You're putting up very strong defences. You're holding back and you're blocking someone. Yes, because they're holding on to a relationship. Simple as that, male or female. Virgo, what you've got here is someone tied up in a long-term commitment who has potentially told you that they're thinking of leaving, thinking about divorce because they simply don't want to let you go. What you're going to be later on realising as you move through January, February, March, April, May, what you're going to be realising is they're full of it. This is all BS. They actually are not planning on leaving their partner. They simply don't want to lose you to somebody else. They may know, Virgo, that you're a catch, that within a very short space of time, you'd meet somebody else who is single 
And this is somebody jealous, possessive. This is somebody who doesn't want to let you go. But I have to say, in the month of May, Virgo, you are deciding to stand your ground. You're holding back, you're blocking this person because with the Four of Pentacles, they're hanging on to their long-term partner. You're seeing through the illusion. Yeah. This is someone, Virgo, who was future faking. This is somebody who was making you believe that you'd run off into the sunset together, build a beautiful home together, create an amazing life together, whilst all along they were sat there with a karmic partner, kind of smiling to themselves, thinking, wow, Virgo's really naive. Yeah, Virgo, this is you angry in the month of May, feeling duped, feeling deceived, feeling as if this person has wasted your time. So you're putting up strong boundaries in the month of May. Okay. June. Eight of Pentacles. Virgo, you may be deciding to concentrate on your career. You may also, though, be deciding to put effort into a new connection. Queen of Wands. Virgo, you could be meeting a Queen of Wands. Or it could be Virgo as a feminine. You are getting yourself sorted out, your life sorted out. You're looking super hot. You could be concentrating on your appearance. You could be going through detox, losing weight, trying new makeup brands. If you're a feminine, updating your wardrobe, you are on fire. Because you could have been dealing with somebody who simply didn't want to let you go. Now you're breaking free. You're coming into your own. You're forging forward. Now, as a masculine, you could be deciding to leave behind someone sad in the energy of the Empress, realising this person was full of it, realising that this Empress wasn't going to leave their husband. And this is you pursuing a Queen of Wands instead. Page of Wands. Yeah. So male or female Virgo, you are moving away from someone who lied to you, who manipulated you, who didn't tell you the truth about their situation. And I think you're moving forward and communicating with somebody else in the month of June. You're putting this all behind you. You're moving on. But Virgo, this has been difficult. I mean, this could have been a situation that you were embroiled in since last year. And for many of you, you may have thought, well, let's see what's going to happen in January. Are they going to leave their person? No. But Virgo, they're going to try and hang on to you for January, February, March and April until when you question this person, you're going to realise that they have no intention of leaving their partner, male or female. So in the month of May, you're getting wise, you're holding back, you're blocking this person because they're hanging on to a karmic partner. And in the month of June, you are breaking out of this restrictive connection and you're meeting someone new and you're looking pretty good. Virgo, you're looking good. So guys, underneath the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, the Nine of Swords, Virgo. The Justice card. Mm, could have been connected to a Libra with the Empress and the Justice card for some of you. Three of Cups, realising, Virgo, that with the Three of Cups, this person had decided to stay in a legal contract. They just wanted some fun with the Three of Cups. And this is you holding back. With the Hangman, for some of you, you may be deciding to reunite with a water sign having got wrapped up with an empress, okay, or with the energy of the hangman, you're suddenly seeing things from a very different perspective. Now, for my masculines, you may have left a water sign to pursue an empress without realising that this empress was married. And the shock is, oh my gosh, I've left behind a queen of cups who was loving, warm and giving for a woman who was married to somebody else. What did I do? Could be. All right. Let's have a look whether or not this hangman is the Queen of Cups or whether or not this is you just looking at things from a different perspective. What is the hangman energy? OK, yes. I mean, for you masculines or even if it's same sex, you know, you may be coming towards someone with Pisces or Cancer in their chart. Strong Pisces energy with a hangman to say, I'm so sorry, Page of Pentacles. I basically left you, I pushed you away because I wanted to pursue somebody else. But with the energy of the Empress, I found out that this person was in a long-term commitment. 
very difficult. Okay, now guys, let's get some messages. Here we go, guys. Messages from the heart, Lightworker Tara and Oracle. So first of all, may we have some messages from this person who's in a long-term relationship to my Virgos. Virgo, this person wants to say to you, I haven't been happy for a long time. So whether you're male or female out there, this is someone who's been very unhappy in a long-term commitment. They really didn't want to let you go. But they know that due to the fact that they possibly hid from you, that they were committed to someone else, they know that your relationship has suffered irreparable damage. Yeah, they basically feel, Virgo, you're never going to forgive them for this. All right. There's more to this than I'm able to share with you right now. So Virgo, they could have been in a horrible marriage with somebody abusive. I don't know. We're coming from two different perspectives and don't see eye to eye. Virgo, as far as you're concerned, you may have thought, well, there's nothing that this person can do or say that will make me understand why they lied to me. I mean, a lie is a lie. So they may be coming from the perspective of, you've no idea what I went through. I went through a horrible relationship. There are reasons why I couldn't tell you I was in a long-term commitment. Well, no, Virgo, I don't agree with that. They may be in a very complicated situation. It could be relating to family, religion, money, which is the reason why they can't get out of this. They want you to see things from a different perspective, understand that they can't get out of their connection, but still agree to moving into some kind of relationship with you. But as far as you're concerned, you're angry and upset and you're pushing this person away. Yeah, so this is difficult. So Virgo, this person doesn't want to lose you, but I think this is you coping with the fact that all this person could actually offer you when everything's said and done is an ongoing third party situation. However, they flower up their situation. You know? All right. So Virgo, let's check out this other person. You're either going back to someone to apologize. I'm sorry, I left you for the person that I thought I was supposed to be moving forward with only to figure out that they were connected to somebody else. So for some of you, Virgo, you're going back around to someone. Is that relationship going to last? You may be wanting to apologise to a Pisces or a Cancerian here. Is that going to go anywhere? How does this person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel about Virgo? Okay, they're willing to put the past in the past. They're also saying to you, Virgo that you should try and emotionally detach from the person that lied to you. This is somebody incredibly supportive and very compassionate. They're less worried about whether or not it's going to work out with you two in the future, more worried, Virgo, about your state of mind, your emotions, because what they're realising is you went through a great deal with this other situation. This is a really nice person. What they're saying is, Virgo, it's going to be okay. You were just wrapped up in a situation where somebody lied to you. It wasn't your fault. You know, don't worry about it. We can date. Don't worry. I'm not going to put pressure on you. This is a really nice person. They're trying to make you feel better about what happened in the past. But Virgo, you may feel bad because you left this person in the past to pursue someone who was married. So in many ways, Virgo, you may feel that you should be the one apologising. You should be the one saying, I'm so sorry for what happened in the past. But this person is being very sweet. It's OK, Virgo. But, you know, not everyone is going to lie to you. Not everyone's going to deceive you. I'm not one of those people. This is a really nice person. What is this person saying to Virgo? I will wait for you as long as I have to. Virgo, if you move towards this person to say, look, I chose the wrong person. I found out the person I pursued wasn't single. I feel really embarrassed, you know. 
I'm so sorry. Can we patch things up? This person seems very mature because what they're saying is, Virgo, not everybody lies. Not everybody tries to pull the wool over your eyes. Not everybody is manipulative. But what they're saying is, I will wait for you to completely heal. This is somebody who's slightly worried, Virgo, of moving into a relationship with you when they feel that you're not actually over your ex. Who, yes, could be married to somebody else, but the fact remains that you may have had a shock just a couple of months ago realising this person was married, right? Literally a month or two months later, you're going back to this person to say, I want to make it work with you. They may say to you, I just don't think you're ready, but don't worry. I'm not going to head off with anyone else. I do want to make it work with you, but I don't think you're completely ready for a commitment. You still need time to get over this other situation, but I'll wait. This is a real sweetheart, Virgo. This is a real sweetheart. What are you going to say to that? Okay. What you're going to say to them, Virgo, is, well, I really need your warmth and affection. But Virgo, make sure that you're not in the nicest sense using this person who seems very sweet natured to help you get over someone who lied to you because this person doesn't want to be used. Ensure you have genuine feelings for this person before jumping towards them because you need a little bit of warmth and affection following this tower moment with the other person. Just think about that. It's not fair on this person to hurt them twice. You left them once and they don't want you to go back and jump towards them, literally wanting a rebound because you were upset about the person that was married, right? Just think about that. But Virgo, I think this has a chance of going somewhere. So Virgo, it's been quite a long reading. Let's just get a quick message from Archangel Michael. Here we go, guys. This was a rather complicated reading. You've got a lot going on, Virgo, in the next six months. So Archangel Michael, what is your message, please, for my lovely Virgos? All right, guys, one minute. Nice, Virgo. Positive thoughts create positive results. Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. So Virgo, forgive the past, forgive this person that hurt you, okay? And appreciate this person who is wanting to help you get over your ex. But just make sure that you're not rebounding on this person because they don't deserve to be treated like that, okay? All right, my Virgos, I am leaving it there. Take care of you, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Virgo.